It's no surprise that AI is taking over Roblox. And no, not just bots and game servers, even your favorite Roblox games are now being made by AI. But just how good is it? I've been making Roblox games for five years. I finally even hit it big with a game reaching 3 million visits. Surely AI can't beat that, right? Well, today I'm challenging a brand new Roblox AI to test if it can make an entire game from scratch and see if it can go viral. So without further ado, allow me to introduce... Oh, hey man, what's... Oh, hey man, what's up? Hey, Bloxy. Not much, just showing off my awesome new AI, Greg. Hello. Oh, this is not any well. I'm getting out of here. Okay, well, today we're going to challenge Greg to see if he can make an entire game and see if it goes viral. You think you can do it, Greg? I have your IP address. Before getting started, I hopped into Roblox and looked around for some inspiration. I obviously didn't want to choose a game idea that's too easy, but I want to make sure that Greg works his clanker ass off. Eventually, one game caught my eye, and a tycoon. Hopping in, I was pleasantly surprised. Damn, this game is so peaceful, oh my god. Listen to that music, I could sit here for hours. The game is simple, you step on a button, spawns bamboo, it begins to grow, and you sell it. I think this simple tycoon style game is perfect for Greg, honestly. But what can we do to change it up? Turn it into our own game. You know what? Why not ask Greg? What do you think, man? How about a fireworks tycoon? You can buy firework launchers. They blast fireworks into the air and give you money. Greg, that is the stupidest idea I've ever... But Wait, no, that's actually pretty good. Anyway, I hopped back into studio, turned on Greg... I I activated Greg. Now it was now time for him to get started. For Greg to complete this challenge, he needs to complete five tasks. Hopefully all five should be smooth sailing. But before we begin, let me ask you something. Are you wanting to start making Roblox games? Or maybe relying a bit too much on AI? Well, allow me to introduce Clearly Dev, sponsor of today's video. Clearly Dev is a marketplace where you can not only find some amazing game assets of all kinds, like fully scripted systems, simulator maps, McDonald's, Liverpool, but also create your own shop where you can sell your own game assets. It's super simple to set up and has all sorts of tools to help you out, such as a dashboard to keep track of all those big numbers, easy withdrawals through Stripe, and even a review system where people can let you know how much they loved your 2019 Yamaha Aerox 155 bike motorbike unscripted. So if you're looking for affordable Roblox assets or want to start selling your own, this place is for you. Clearly Dev version 2 is coming this summer, so now is the best time to go check it out. The link is in the description. Anyway, without further ado, Let's jump into task one. All right, Greg, your first task is to create a plot system. Are you ready? Let's freaking do this. Homes lies. Let's go ahead and ask Greg to start working on a module that can manage all the tycoons. Oh, wait, no, we don't have anything built yet. Greg is not actually able to build, so we do have to help him out a bit. Let's just quickly build a placeholder tycoon so Greg can get going. There we go, we've got a tycoon. It was now time for Greg to write his first ever script. Okay, so I've just asked him to code his first script. He's thinking, he's thinking. There we go. Wow, actually looking at this is almost spot on to how I do it. I didn't even tell him about the components folder, so he's actually able to look around the entire project. That's crazy. Greg's first script was a success. It's pretty bare bones for now, but hopefully he'll improve as we go along. But next up, he needs to script the tycoon itself. So let's go create a module for him and he can do the rest. All right, Greg, work that brain of yours. While he's doing that, you're probably wondering what this plugin is. Well, it's actually a pretty cool plugin called Vibe Coder, which allows you to use pretty powerful AI dudes inside of Roblox Studio. I mean, let's be if you're a scripter, you know that Roblox's AI sucks. So having such a useful tool was so refreshing. Look, duckable, I'm done. Oh, sweet. Let's take a look. Whoa. That's a lot of comments. Yeah, some problems were starting to arise already. Us humans like when things look clean, organized, and preferably readable. AI, on the other hand, could not care less. Which worries me that we'll be having more issues with Greg later on. Did I, did I just kill Greg? But hey, all we gotta do is ask him to remove the comments and... There we go. Let's give this a test, shall we? Oh, oh, Greg isn't even spawning in a plot for us. Yeah, Greg also isn't too smart. When telling him what to do, you have to be pretty specific. Have you ever tried to hold a conversation with a baby? Well, I don't know why you're talking to babies, but it's probably like that. But thankfully, after a few more chats with Greg, this happened. Hey, there we go. That's the first task complete. Greg was doing a pretty good job for now, but the things he has to make later on get more and more complex. For now, you're a good man. Thank you, Duckable. I added a nice message for you in one of the scripts. Oh, that's nice. Where is it? Task 1 was now complete, and it was time for Greg to move on to task 2. But before that, we need to populate the tycoon, because right now we just have some fences. So I got to work. 
Okay, dilemma time. I'm torn between the left or right design. You know what? Let's just ask Greg. Let's just ask him. What are we thinking, Greg? I think you should go for the right design. So I kept building. I cooked up a cool upgrades board, a rebirth button, and began working on the firework launchers. Yeah, this is as good as we're getting from me. But of course, you can't fire fireworks without without fireworks. So after mapping out all the launchers and a little bit more time, this looks like SpongeBob's sock. There we go. That's a lot better. We now had our firework. Craig was ready to crack on with step two, the buying system. If you're not familiar with button tycoons, essentially you can earn up money to eventually buy different things that make you even more money. It's actually super simple, but will that be the case for Greg? All right, Gregory, let's see what you can do. This is quite a big request, so we'll see how he handles it. There we go. Let's give it a test. Oh, they're not working oh right the buttons don't have a price yet yeah new problem we forgot to give the launchers a price balancing a tycoon's prices is one of the most time-consuming delicate tasks ever so uh let's just get greg to do it i'm on it watch me go done wow these look good and hey the system's working too i gotta say having greg around is starting to become extremely convenient making all of this hasn't taken long possibly even faster than doing it myself you know what's also fast smashing the freak out of that subscribe button all the cool people are doing it even greg right greg no okay anyway task two is now complete we've got the button system it's time to move on to something a lot more exciting I'm excited for Greg, as we're about to move on to step three, making the fireworks work and fire. First, let's get some particles ready for when the firework flies up. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is nice. And for when it explodes. This works. Awesome. Now we can give all of this to Greg and he can coat it up. I think this may be our biggest request yet, and it's just to set up a rocket launcher. Right, this is nuts. Let's just see how Greg handles it. Okay, cool. There's no way we can test this until we now code a brand new launcher script. So let's get that done. This is where things get a bit tricky. These tasks for Greg were getting pretty huge and it was sometimes taking him over a hundred seconds to figure it out. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Why don't we just test what he's made for us? I'm sure there's nothing wrong. Okay, there's something wrong. We have an issue. He's using methods that Roblox have deleted. This was not going well. Maybe Greg isn't as amazing as I thought he was. And honestly, asking him to make changes to a single line of code took forever. Remember, this is all on him. I can't touch a single line of code. I wanted one line changed and it took him 40 seconds, man. What is going on? I told him to only change the one line and now we have like 26 more lines of code. Let's just test it out. Oh, what? Wait. Oh my god. God, bro. I wasn't specific enough. He's completely messed this up. Things were not going smoothly. I began to sit for several minutes at a time, waiting for Greg to make slight changes to a script before I then go and test them again, finding more and more issues. I really wanted to step in and change the code myself, but I didn't. I continued to sit and wait for Greg to stumble onto a solution all night. I wanted to test AI to see if I could make games faster. And honestly, it was starting to seem like that may not happen. I don't know. Maybe Greg will surprise us later on. No, I'll just keep going. Rising up nice and early, I was ready to give Greg another chance. Thankfully, after three whole hours, the fireworks system now works. But there are two more of the five tasks that need completing. Number four, being upgrades. Greg, you can generate values for the upgrades, right? I sure can. Here you go. Where, where did that come from? Here you go. All right, whatever, man. Let's just get back to it. We need upgrades. So I asked Greg to upgrade the plot script. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the plot. The oh, Greg is done. Let's give this a test. Oh, it's not working again. Are we serious? Oh, never mind. This one's actually my fault. Let's try that again. Okay, this one is Greg's fault. What about the Sarah? Let's just toss it into Greg and see what happens. Yeah, we're not off to a great start today. But remember when I said Greg might surprise us later on? Well, it's not right now. Because, uh, what? What? Dude, what's this? What's this error? Did I, did I just kill Greg? Yes, I did indeed somehow murder the fuck out of Greg. I don't know how this could have happened. It's not like I damaged him or anything. No, I can't think of why. So I turn him off and back on again to give him a quick reboot. And let me tell you, this reboot worked wonders. Okay, let's get testing. The board works, it's just not laid out correct. One quick fix. 
there we go now we need the upgrades to save so let's go buy some upgrades and if we join back yes greg okay nice nice and we actually still need to save the tycoon progress as well let's just get greg to do that now and oh my lord he just cranked out like four changes perfectly greg was back in his prime better than ever as well as completing task four this was greg's time to show us how quick and artificially intelligent he really is so let's get move on with task five i'm sure greg is going to knock this one out of the park we've made it the final task the game coding wise was pretty much done all we had to do was complete task five rebirthing and honestly i've got complete trust in greg to get this done let's slap in our final prompts to greg before we start monetizing the game this is it the final greg thinking sash for greg to complete this final task we need the big rebirth button to of course rebirth the player but also for players to unlock new fireworks that can be fired for even more money it seems easy enough and i think greg has this in the back let's just leave him to do his thing the code has been updated let's give this a go all right so if we go and buy every single one of these oh those buttons are not right whoa okay the game is not handling this very well at all we're dropping from like 100 to 18 frames per second what is happening we're so close to finishing the game why is it messing up now have i been relying too much on greg he has been causing a ton of issues already everything was going great the last task but now it's starting to fall apart yeah i mean greg suggested how to code certain systems and clearly they were not the best solutions i'm sure not a lot of you will be able to read this but thanks to greg's code the game is still keeping track of fireworks that have been deleted which would easily cause the servers to crash like very soon on it was starting to seem like my game wouldn't be finished my game it's not exactly my game, is it? Greg has been coding everything, which is what I love most about making games. Why would I want to take that part of the process away? I want to take the reins again. So, uh, Greg? Sup, dog? Ho, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, sorry, that's, that's a bit extreme. How about you go upstairs? You want me to go upstairs? Yeah, go, come on, off you go. All right. Clearly, AI's code still has a way to go. It's pretty terrible. But people also need to remember that AI is a tool, not a teacher. Vibecoder is a very handy tool for helping make Roblox games, not for creating them. So where does that leave us with our game? Or I guess Greg's game. Can AI make a Roblox game go viral? Well, there are many others on YouTube trying to prove this, but their games also suffer from just straight up terrible code. You might be able to succeed, sure, but for me at least, there's a bit more to it than chasing the bag. Personally, any game I want to create, I want to be able to join that game and appreciate the work that I've put in to be proud of it. The type of games we see on Roblox may be changing, but no matter what I make, I'll always put in 100% and make it the best it can be. And I hope all of if you do the same. In fact, after this, check out my last video where I put my all into making an entire game in 24 hours. So, can AI make a Roblox game go viral? Yes. But, can AI make a good Roblox game? No. No, absolutely fucking not. Uh